Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Create here. Today we are going to make the easiest, the most straightforward pair of mittens you've ever seen in your entire life. Let's go. Okay guys, honestly, the quickest and easiest thing in the entire world. I made some mittens for little one. Oh, let me go get them. Wait there. Exhibit A. She's taking the other one to school with her. I'm not entirely sure why that she's only wearing one of them, but here we are. This one actually was made from the Mariner's Chunky Yarn. It's a mermaid one and oh, the color ranges, they're amazing. I'll put the link in the um, bio because they're really, really nice. For this, these mittens, however, because those ones took about four hours to make those up. For these ones, 10 minutes at push depending on how fast your printer is and how many bobbins you need to wind up, because let's be honest, they take time. What we're gonna need is a pattern. Et voila! This one is from CK Sew, and it's got a range of different sizes that you can choose. And then all you need to do, oh, wrong hand. All you need to do is put your hand on it and then see which one you are. I think I am an adult medium because it includes the cuff at the bottom as well. Um, and the next thing you're going to need is a Christmas jumper. I managed to thrift this. It's a, it's a men's one um, and it's like quite nice Nordic pattern to it. I managed to thrift this from the charity shop. They had a, they had a Black Friday um, deal on, so there was 25% off everything. I think I got this for three pound. So, are you with me so far? Pattern, free, maybe a piece of paper. Jumper, three pound. Let's go. I've laid out my jumper and I've got some pins and some scissors as well. I've also cut my pattern to the right size. So, I am cheating and I am going to use the cuff that's on the bottom of the jumper. I might also use the cuff that's on the arms of the jumper. So then I reckon I can get one, two, three, four, five. I reckon I can get three, maybe four pairs out of this thing. Should we see how many we can do? For now, let's start with one. So you do have a template for the cuff, which you can use, which coincidentally is the same width as the cuff on the bottom. But because I don't need to do that, all I'm going to do is pin on this template and then cut round it. It does also say to cut two of these, but honestly, if you are savvy, then you'll just cut one and then turn it over and cut the other. So you don't really need to print it out twice because that is just a waste of paper. Right, let's have a go. So we're going to go to the machine in a second and sew them round the, well, turn them right side to right side and then sew them round the edges and then we'll have a pair of mittens, piece of cake. However, I reckon I can get at least one, I can get at least two more pairs out of the ribbing alone. So I'm going to have a go and see what else I can salvage out of this jumper. Okay, 
okay so we're going to start off with the one that's already got the cuff um pre-built in we just need to turn them over and have right side to right side line them up and then sew around the edges um i didn't cut much of a um seam allowance because i mean it's just a pair of mittens so we're just going to stay quite close to the edge make sure that we keep the sides matched up nicely it should be done in no time Moving on to the ones where I have repurposed the cuffs separately, um, we've got two options. So this one is already sewn together. So what I'm going to do is to sew this and then add the cuff onto the bottom of that. And then with this one, oh that one's got a little cuff. Let me find one where the cuff isn't already attached. So that's those two. This one, the cuff isn't put together already so I'm going to sew the cuff onto the bottom of each piece and then do the same method that I did with these ones. the easiest in the entire world that you will ever ever make <laughs> all you need is a sewing pattern uh, no I've not thought this through <laughs> I'm gonna go and do the school run and I'm gonna have lovely warm hands mm. thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow for another Christmas video